We're going to focus first on what's called LED lighting, which is the next generation of lights after those CFL or curly Q lights that you see that get plugged in. LED lights are much more satisfying. They look like real lights. Uh, people are going to like them, and the Department of Energy is pushing them. And uh, that's what we're going to focus on first. Those lights today are mostly made in China. So, and there is a desire to have made in America components with that kind of quality and hopefully technological innovation. So we're going to focus on that. Because they're real jobs. They're not jobs that are, just going, that are not going to go away when a program ends. If these jobs are, are, are created and the industry needs the product, then this should have a lasting value. So it's not just like a jobs program where they work for the summer and at the end of the six or eight weeks it's over with. This has long-term potential. I'd like to conclude today by thanking again Secretary Fernandez and the U.S. Department of Commerce for recognizing the potential of this significant economic development effort and making possible this historic initiative. It is exactly the type of economic development that we envisioned when we spearheaded the creation of TSEC. This will provide new homegrown green energy businesses and help educate and train loyal local workers to be employed by these businesses. So the situation here is a very positive one. But if we're not focused on how we expand and create a more diverse uh, energy source, energy sources throughout the country, we're going to be at a huge competitive disadvantage. And that's why, you know, I think these kind of bottom-up strategies are important, as well as some of the other types of investments that that we're making through the Department of Defense, the Department of Energy, and others. Well, look, you know, I, I think, um, you know, these are high-risk, high-reward kinds of investments that are necessary if you're really going to move the needle on cutting-edge uh, technology. And, you know, not every program that you invest in is going to be absolutely uh, successful. If, it, if there was no risk involved, the private sector would be doing it, and there'd be no role for the government. But clearly, there is a need. And so, you know, you're going to have some things move better than 